what my sound preferences are i like bass i like and if it can have quantity and quality uh yeah i'm rocking it especially mid bass i like the slam over the sub bass rumble i like my mids super clean i'm um, not a big fan of of overly colored overly thick overly warm mids not a big fan of that the mix and highs that are very sweet and seem to be able to keep up without ever being overbearing or in your face so Welcome back. Today, well, uh, first, two things. <laughs> Apologize for this one taking so long to get out. It's the uh, nice HCK sub brand of JLay, and this is the carrot. Okay, to begin this video, I want to do two things. I want to say uh, thank you to Nice HCK for providing this form me but mostly my daughter because i can't get him out of her ears to do this review and i wanted to say thanks for that now the other thing i wanted to say thanks is to you who are watching and who have subscribed to my channel it's taken off more than i expected and now i even have some people that 
are members. So they help f fund the channel every month with contributions. And to you, I'm making a special video to my members page, mostly my idiot stick bloopers, which you're not supposed to laugh at your own jokes, but sometimes I do some chilly shit and it's in there for you. So thank you. And thank you for subscribing and liking my vids. So let's get on with the show. It took a while to get here. That wasn't one problem. And when it did get here, my youngest daughter scooped him up. And literally, I could not pry him out of her ears. They are her absolute favorite, she said, to date. <laughs> so when I asked CJ... I said, what do you like about these things? And I love it. As a person who loves music, she said to me in non-audio terms, I just like the way they sound. And I pushed further because I, I love getting this out of her. She's my sounding board now. And uh, I said, what do you like about them? And she said, well, I, I really like the singing. I like how how clean the singers are. It's like, hmm. And at this point, I haven't listened to it yet. And honest to God, she's put over 100 hours. So she burned him in. <laughs> Very well. And she's been running it off different dongles as well. So as, as this uh, whole journey has begun, I've been feeding her dongles and different sources and different cables and different IMs. But she hasn't wanted to listen to anything else but these, and I was super curious. So finally got a chance to, you know, pry them away from her. As a father, that makes me proud in two ways. One, she, uh, she has a good ear, like her dad. Secondly, yesterday, super proud moment, she came home from shopping with mommy and showed me the shirt that she bought. Lo and behold, back in black, ACDC t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty proud. Anyway, on to this review, shall we? I, I have, have this. this on also a nice HC cable called the Red Lava. It is a kind of uh, annealed copper cable. Why? Two things. Uh, it was a noticeable improvement over the stock cable that only comes in 3.5. And if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I do like my balanced out, but I like feeding power to these bad boys. So, therefore, you can see the theme going on, right? Let's talk about these $69.99 nice HEK JLA carrots. The name of this video will be Vocal Lovers Rejoice. Bang on. One 10 millimeter titanium coated diamond like coated driver or DLC driver. Has an impedance of 32 ohms and 106 decibels, which means it's pretty easy to drive. CNC machined aluminum shell is actually one of the reasons I think she really likes it is because her little small ears can fit these things and not only can they fit in her little smaller ears they go quite deep and therefore uh, she gets a good seal and she gets a uh, great base and we'll get into that stock cable is a oxygen free cable and again coming from nice hck which makes great cables you kind of know that they paired it really well so you kind of also know that um, they threw in the stock cable which is a freebie and they since they sell nicer cables expect you to buy a nicer cable which is not a bad idea and they actually have some bundles with that too, but I would consider um, you buying a pure oxygen-free copper cable instead of anything with an SPC or palladium or mixed metal. So stick with copper. What is the JLA carrot all about? Well, is it all about the base? 
<laughs> no. How about trouble? Possibly. How about um, mids? Oh, yes. It's all about the mids. Base has really nice texture. Uh, and I like quality over quantity. Shabingo in there. It has more of a support roll function, though. Uh, it has enough thump and bump to enhance the mids and keep up with the treble, but it's not bass head level. And um, graph lie. <laughs> Absolutely. Here's the graph. By the way, shout out to nice HCK on all of the sets I have tested so far. Um, the channel balance is quality control is high with this one. When I say it's all about the mids, uh, I would say two things in my journey. To get to my sound impressions here, I first went the gamut as I normally do about sources. And since I've been doing lots of DAP reviews lately, I've had lots of sources to play with. And as I have discovered, uh, between having very resolving, uh, that's the KN N3 Ultra tube hybrid, this is the Shanling M8, Shanling M5 Ultra, which turned out to be the second winner here. Um, the copper cable, the warm source, in this case, the AK DAX of the um, Shanling, won out because, uh, as I said, this graph kind of lies. It looks like it's pretty well balanced, and it kind of is, but it doesn't also not sound like that as well. Um, so on a really warm source uh, and a pure copper cable, kind of rewards you with not just super incredibly clean vocals, um, but uh, slightly mid forward presentation as well. It is, I will honestly tell you, probably not the most natural sounding timber and tonality single dynamic I have ever heard, but where that lacks is in the engaging replay factor. It it honestly grips you. Um, when you're listening to vocal tracks, it uh, is absolutely mesmerizing. This set is standout for that. Uh, the treble has some nice energy, not treble head levels again, not on a warmer source, but on a way more resolving source like my Con Max from Astle and Kern. Yep, it certainly is, because that DAP actually recesses the mids and brings forth the fourth the the highs and the lows. So uh, it's also important again when you're listening to reviews and reading reviews that uh, you understand the sources that were used because that will also play a big part into the uh, impressions that you're getting from said reviewer. So. Uh, the treble has, I guess I'll say this again, this is a mid-centric IM with a splash of extra sparkle in air. And I think that's how the highs come across. Um, it, the highs never did get splashy or nasally for me on the warmer sources, but it did so um, on the more resolving DAC. So again, that's uh, something to keep in mind as well, right? Your source. Just a couple tracks to kind of um, help you understand how I got to these impressions. One of the ones that I was listening to was Angel by Massive Attack. Now, this has that kind of droning sub bass. And what I was listening for is that it it didn't pull down especially low in the sub bass. So I would say this is not a sub bass focused I, uh, I am. It is that does have bass and bass texture, but it doesn't pull down exceptionally low. And it's not one of those I am's that are really sub boomy focused. So, um, and that was my kind of a takeaway and impression with this track is 
it, yes, it would play the notes uh, in if the track had that information, but it really wouldn't pull down to the lowest octaves uh, to give you a boom boom, and it certainly wasn't overpowering. Again, more of the mids, and in this track, again, the vocals were silky smooth and just super engaging. So, um, this is a track uh, I'm, I'm especially going to stand out. Um, and it kind of summarizes the entire experience for me about the J. Lay Carrot. Dancing in the Dark by Lolo, or L0, L0. Um, why do you do that to me? How am I supposed to say that? Anyway, I can see why my daughter absolutely adores uh, these IMs with vocal tracks like these. Uh, the vocal clarity is just simply stand out top shelf presents front and center bass is there but it doesn't drown out uh, the vocals and the top end of the carrot adds in some extra crispness for some dynamics so uh, that is modern music mid-centric vocal lovers rejoice some thoughts while the carrot doesn't have like perfect pitch and pitch perfect tonality and instruments don't sound as natural as a thousand dollar soft ears twilight there is no doubt uh, for people who just really listen to kind of fun modern music rock rap uh maybe not so much rap it doesn't have the boom boom so much uh that the carrot was tuned for them if you're looking for a, if you're a stage freak, look elsewhere. Uh, you won't find it here. The stage is quite intimate and uh, centered. So, again, everything is kind of focused in on on the vocal tracks, and nothing is pulling you away from that thing. Um, I've got to say though, there's there's just some things about this I am that make it worth the 70 bucks if you were considering this i am the solid build first of all the smaller shells right oh yeah that high res sticker adds 10 dbs of uh bass um no, it doesn't come with those. I added those for extra bling bling for my daughter, and she loves it. Um, it's great to see companies making smaller shells. I really like that. You don't need a big shell for a 10 millimeter dynamic driver, and nor does it need the volume inside of there. Um, so it was really well thought out, I thought. And... It's nice to see this really nice build. It's uh, very solid. It's light. Um, and if you have smaller ears, again, super standout. Here again, a kind of uh, has a bit of a shorter nozzle. So for me, I sacrificed another... You can probably buy some O-rings, which I probably should, instead of sacrificing some other... Um, ear tips but that's what i did i uh hacked off uh part of a stem of an ear tip and i put it on the bottom so what that kind of does for me on shorter stems is uh it makes the ear tip i'm using some divinus velvet tips to protrude a little bit more so it goes a little bit deeper into my bigger ears and it really worked well for me these tips also did uh, wonders for me. So that little nozzle trick and uh, or choose a longer stem I am um, or ear tip like a Dunu s and or something like uh, an Osla um, regular where it's a longer stem. So just some uh, thoughts on that. Tip rolling is definitely recommended uh, with a larger bore again. Uh, or if uh, you might even want to go to maybe a smaller bore, you might want to. You might want to tip roll because um, those upper mids. Now, using shorter nozzles like that might pose a 
issue for some, so therefore I recommended those little ring adapters uh, to help you out uh, if that works for you. Now to talk about this tuning just for a flash there, why is it so mid-centric? But looking at this graph, it looks overall extremely well balanced. On my set, I've seen other sets where the base shelf is above the pin again, but on my set, it's uh, it's not. It's about probably 4 dB below that. So could be some unit variances. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, with that being said, the when the pin ass starts to rise, where the treble starts to rise uh, in the frequency graph here, at about a thousand hertz, you will notice that it has a very gentle slope up until about five and a half for me on, on what my IE711 coupler measured. And that is kind of what I was hearing in my ears as well. So for people who are sensitive to that five to six K area, typically like me, uh, my observations were the carrot were absolutely fantastic engaging for short bursts but i would uh, get ear fatigue and a bit of ringing after a uh, hour and a half or so so and we're all different ear anatomy that kind of things um overall the carrot in my humble opinion has a unique and welcome uh, sound signature I think in the sea of chi-fi out there and all those releases you see one after the other as a really clean mid-centric i am the carrot holds its own in fact it stands out um, not just for its a lot of things its build quality uh its richness of accessories the little leather pouch that it comes with magnetic closure lots of your tips to help you out um i think it's pretty good value for looking if you're looking for something that is going to wow factor you on vocals and i think this set uh, could do that for you if you don't have something in your library like it um my rex would be to use a warmer source on it um more of a laid back um dap dongle uh upgrade to a better cable put some juice to it 4.4 maybe pure copper um that would be my recommendations if you were thinking about uh, picking up this set so i have to now give them back um i don't think i'll see them again i've tried to get her to actually listen to some other things um and she she listened to the EA 500 LM, and there's just something about this set for her in her ears and the music she listens to. Um, it was like, nope, I want, I want the carrots back. So, what could you say to that? This is a tone deaf monk. There is some crazy amount of stuff coming. Um, and some more daps, which I absolutely really love. So I'm happy to bring some more sources to you guys as well um, in the future. But stay tuned for some groovy, groovy things coming. Thank you. <laughs>